What is going on guys? My name is Dustin. Welcome back to the Minecraft channel and today we're gonna start the exterior on the traditional mansion right here. So basically we're going to be doing the back and today guys we're gonna do this platform, the swimming pool, and the barbecue area. The basketball court is going to be another episode hopefully. Uh, that's kind of the plan. And I got some good news for you guys. For all the people that wanted the interior, it is finally done. So big shout out to Gaming Blaze uh, for grinding it out. That's why there hasn't been a video, guys, on, or a tutorial in a couple days. Because it's just been a lot of grinding doing the interior. So I hope you're happy. But anyways, we're going to get into the materials you're going to need. You're going to need some stone slabs, some stone, some snow, some spruce fence, some light gray carpet, blue carpet, red carpet, string, and of course some swiftness, which we are going to take right now. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and take your stone slabs and you want to come over here and you want to break 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 blocks. Now you want to come over here and you want to break 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So then you want to go ahead and break this straight down and connect it up just like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to dig out this whole area. I know it looks huge, but trust me, whenever we have the pool in it over here, it's really not so big. See, it doesn't look as big when there's the space is used. But what we're going to do is bring this down. All the way you don't have to make it two blocks thick um, if you're on the pocket edition well I know like now in um since we had an update we can actually place blocks on top of top slabs I don't think we were able to do that before but now you can so yeah I'm pretty sure it even works with doors you can place doors on top of top slabs too but now what you want to do is dig out all of this grassy area and fill it in so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that off camera, just break all this out in that little barrier and fill it all in with stone slabs and then we're going to start working on the pool design. So I'll be right back with you guys in just a second. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I went ahead and I kind of laid out this design for the pool. I'm going to show you that. Don't worry if you don't have this, we're going to go over it together. And I took the time and I just kind of reconstructed this. And this is what's going to go in this empty area here because it's going to be like a little waterfall. We're going to take a bucket of water, place it in there. It's going to come out here, drain into the pool, and be all nice. So how I calculated this is you want to come right where we started here and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 blocks over. On that 12th block, you want to go up, and which would be on the 4th block because you count this. So 1, 2, 3, and on the 4th block, you're going to break out 4 blocks. Okay? I'll show you. So, just break them out and replace them with stone as we go. So, as you can see, this is the 12th block over from the wall. You're going to go 1, 2, well, 1, 2, 3, and on the 4th block, break out 1, 2, 3, 4, and replace them with stone. Go diagonal 1, then go diagonal 3, 1, 1, 2, and 3, and then you're going to go up 7. So, diagonal up 7. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's what you should have so far. Right there. Okay. So after you do that, you want to go diagonal to the left. Then one, two, three. Like that. And then go one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, and four. Or that's five, I mean, and then one, two, three, and four. So that's what you want to have. Now, if I did that too fast, or if you guys are able to keep up, don't worry. Just pause if you need to. We're going to then take snow caps and go one, two, three, four, and you're just going to kind of go over top of the stone that you placed. Okay? Very, very easy, guys. Just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly up. Go ahead and pause the video and you can actually count the blocks for yourself and see how we did this shape. Let me get straight on with it. So there you go. Pause the video, count it out, 
and place that. It's very simple. If you guys, you know, kept up, good for you. We're going to move on to the next part. So now what we want to do is take all this out just right here, okay? Delete all of this out within this area. So you want to delete all those slabs in the little outlined area that we have. And while we do this, it gives me some time to talk to you guys. If you guys watch my vlog, which a lot of you did, that's awesome. I talked about doing a 2K Q&A, and I'm, I'm going to do it every 1,000 subscribers because it's just, I don't know, it's just an insane goal. I mean, to a 1,000 new people every time, it's pretty crazy. So as you can see, we're just digging this out still. And um, I will make an announcement when I hit 200 or 2K or if I like get close to 2K, like a lot closer, you know, just like 5 or 10 off. I will make the announcement and once we actually hit 2k then I will go ahead and I will make the video so just go ahead and delete it to right here is fine I will go ahead and make the video and you guys can leave all your questions down in the comments and stuff okay so there it is now we're gonna start putting in this part now this part is going to be very very confusing so make sure you guys pay attention please so starting on this side you want to take some spruce leaves place one and then you want to place two stone blocks right behind it boom boom one two okay so now I'm trying to think of the easiest way to do this okay well what you can do I know for a fact is go ahead Place two more stone blocks like that, and it's going to be leaves, 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 leaves. So right here, you're going to place leaves, 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 leaves. Just like that, okay? So now what we're going to do is do a step up in, in line with this. Place a stone, then two, and then like that. So we kind of have that little design right there. We're going to work our way around the back. So then it's going to be one, two, well, as you can see, it's going to be one, two, three, four steps up from that. So let's go ahead and do that. Four steps up. So right here, go boom, 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 one, two, three, and four like that okay now if you guys don't know what we just did we just did this part right here so now we want to come down well, let's actually work out this part because we have this right so right here place another one just like that alright so we just placed this we're gonna step down place one and then another leaf so go ahead and do that and then do that now I know this looks really weird but trust me it will all make sense whenever we start filling in the pool so we have that go one back and then like that so go ahead and take a stone boom boom so you kinda of have that little design and then go ahead and place a leaf block right there spruce leaves or any leaves of your choice really it does not matter so then we're gonna go leaf and then block down below it yeah leaf at the end block down below it we'll actually go ahead and bring that out like that and then do a leaf and then do this and this Where are we at? Go ahead and do that. You guys can really do this however you want. Really. Um, just kind of randomize it, honestly. But I'm just going to show you to the best of my ability what to do. Go ahead and place just underneath of it, just like that. Because this part's actually going to be into the water. Okay, so now... 
we want to go ahead and do that just like so boom 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 like that go ahead and place that and then we are going to go like that which is going to have a block underneath of it like so and you got like I said guys just really you just randomize it you can do it however you want I'm just kind of winging it at this point so place a block there okay let's see so we place the block there So let's go like this, like this, go ahead and place a block right there, because you can place a leaf right there, and then you want to go ahead and do this, that, and then of course place a leaf block right there so we're moving right along and it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to show stuff like this because it's one of those things you can just kind of do so you can we're gonna place a leaf there and then we're going to place this and then a leaf like that And then what you can do is go ahead and do that again. Let's go ahead and fill that into the, over there like that. And then place this and then boom, 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 boom. Go ahead and place one on top of this like that. So you want to have that there. with leaf block on either side go ahead and do that place one like that like that see now we're just kind of doing this however we want go ahead place one there right there delete that slab place one there and there's going to be a hole that is going to be it's gonna come out right here so let's go ahead and just fill this in underneath that way our water does not leak out anywhere else so go ahead and do that do this well, actually, go ahead and place that there. This is going to come out like that. And now let's just kind of randomize this however we want. Okay, so right here we can actually do this. Bring that out, boom. Place a leaf there. And then break it out like that. Because right there we are going to place our water source. So then go ahead, do this, do that. And there we go. That's honestly, guys, just do it however you want. Because it looks good either way. Okay, so now we are going to break down just a couple more blocks so actually let me go check something go ahead and get rid of those grab you want some you want end stone or any kind of any kind of bottom will work really I did not mean to throw away the um what did I have 
Where is endstone? It's like one of my favorite textures in the city texture pack. That's gravel. Wouldn't be in there. Have to be in building. There it is. Boom. Endstone. Let's grab ourselves some, some smooth sandstone again. Okay, so right here it's going to be a step up. Okay. So right in line with the end of that. All the way across. That's all I needed to see. So now what we are going to do... is right here, you want to dig this down, just like that, same thing here, so just dig out this little area, just like this. And I think that water is only like one block deep there, which it is. Okay. So all this right here can be filled in with endstone or whatever material you decide, whatever you want to use for the bottom of your pool. This is the city texture pack and endstone looks really good. So go ahead. And as you can see, we're just going to fill this in real quick. It's really, really simple. As long as you don't fail at placing blocks, it can go very, very smoothly. So I'm sorry if this, like, I seem a little weird trying to explain what I'm doing. But <laughs> this is like one of my, this is like my second time ever showing how to do an exterior like this. So now the rest of this can be dug down to bedrock level. And we're going to cover up the bedrock, so don't worry. Okay, so there's that. Just kind of follow around the edge of the pool. So just leave that there. And then just keep on doing like this. Just follow around the edge. Even of the, um, the little waterfall, rock formation, whatever you want to call it. Just follow that around. Like this. And then actually just replace that with stone. Right now, I didn't mean to break that far. And we are almost done filling it in. So I hope you guys actually like this exterior. Because, like I said, this is my second time ever doing something like this, and it was never anything like this extensive, so I'm trying. There's a first for everything, and I promised you guys the exterior and the interior, so I'm going to do it. So now that we have that, what you want to do while we're here is just go ahead and place all of the this with stone. So all the dirt with smooth stone, or whatever material you would like. Whoops, there we go. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Very, very easy, guys. Do this underneath, just in case. Even though it's going to be covered up, I don't know. If you have OCD like me, you're going to fill it in anyway. And then, of course, just this last part here. And all you want to do is, just like I said, just follow along the edge of the pool. So it looks like that. So now, take some more swiftness before it runs out. Go ahead and grab your end stone and you're just going to go ahead and place it all along here. Go ahead and do that right there because that's just going to be annoying. All right, guys, um, I had to cut that out. Uh, landlord walked in, started talking because she doesn't know when I do this whole thing, so I can't blame her. But you're just going to fill it in like that. Uh, we're going to need some new materials. You want a water bucket? Spruce wood slab, spruce wood stair, black stained glass or any color, spruce fence, string, blue carpet, like gray carpet, and red. So first thing we are going to do is go ahead and just right here, 
around the edge of the pool, spam the water bucket, and we're going to fill this bad boy up with water because you kind of need water in a pool to go swimming, right? At least I think so. I'm not 100% sure. Do you need water to swim in a pool? I, I really hope you guys don't take that serious. I was being completely sarcastic there. No one, no one ever finds it funny. So there's that. I accidentally broke that. Oh, it's gonna bother me. I'm gonna have to place that there for right now. I mean, that's gonna drive me insane. That's supposed to be snow. Just be careful. Try not to put the water on the snow caps because it will melt it just like that. Look at me, ruin everything. Way to go, Dustin. Way to go. As I was saying, don't do that. I did it. Okay, so we're still spamming the water bucket right around the outside. Because we're awesome like that. So right here on this level. Are you going to fill yourself in, bro? What's going on here? Well, I think I made the, the biggest Minecraft noob mistake ever. And as you can see, I'm just going to place some glass here. Because I didn't fill in the pool correctly. Because I suck. And I don't know why you guys watch me sometimes. Because I suck. <laughs> fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Like that. Now let's try doing this. And getting this water to flow the right way. Don't tell me I need to do it here too. Whoops. Let me grab that and replace those steps real quick. We can get always get those back. Boom. Okay. So now take the water bucket and go around this part. Unless you guys didn't screw it up like me. That's all you want to do. That can be deleted. Same thing here. It should all kind of flow together. I've lied to you all. I am so sorry. Of course not. Hey! Fix itself! So, just go ahead and break a couple blocks. And then keep spamming. Not... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, jerk. Uncalled for. Just get the water to look nice and neat, guys. You should know how to do this. Much better than I. Can you tell how often I build pools? Or show how to build pools? My girlfriend just said I suck. And boom. My girlfriend thinks I suck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She didn't say that. She's actually really sick and not feeling good, which kind of bums me out. I hate being sick. I know her pain. And being sick really sucks whenever you try to do YouTube videos. <coughs> Alright. It looks all good to me. We did that. Awesome. So now the finishing touch. Just go ahead. Throw some water in there. And it's going to come down. It's going to pour out in there. And it's just going to give it a nice little feature. So yeah. There we go. Now, we are going to grab back those spruce wood stairs because we are going to build these little chairs and the, the umbrellas. That's what we're going to do. So, as you can see, we're going to come in line with this window. So, it's that window. So, right here, boom. We're going to have an upside down stair. I forgot to get the signs. We'll add those. Don't worry. As you can see, we're just going to get three blocks in between each and every one of those. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, come back over. Well, you're not going back over anywhere. Just stay where you are. So, right here. Go ahead and do this. This, this. And then go ahead and place, like, that. Why am I ruining everything? <laughs> and while we're here, and I have OCD... We're going to take the snow caps, and I'm going to fix my little mistake that I made. There we go. Much better. So go ahead and do this. Two slabs. 
skip three and on this fourth block so right here go ahead and just place like that upside down step like that two slabs boom boom skip three so one two three so right here do the same thing like so boom boom so then right here you want to place a black stained glass in between both of those you then want to go one two and three blocks tall with that and we no longer need this stuff so now we don't need this or this so now we can grab our signs there they are and just place them like this on each part of these chairs like that like that there we go now go ahead and take your light gray wool place it in the middle of each now you guys can use whatever color wool you want I'm just using red and blue like the original place string there bring it out turn it bring it out again turn it bring it out I know there's a way you can make carpets float you have to like use jungle wood and do stuff like that so now I'm gonna make this one red so go ahead and take your red carpet place it on either side like that and then go ahead and take your light gray and do that so now we're gonna do the same thing here except we're gonna use blue but first we want to bring out the string and string is annoying to place well, it can be if it's not done right okay so now you want to do blue like that whoops there we go and then light gray like so so there's that part now we're gonna do the final thing which you can pitch all of that keep the sign and we're gonna do this little barbecue area because we're awesome like that so what we want it looks like we're gonna want some let's see cobblestone and some cobblestone slabs which is right there we want let's see we want cauldrons where is the cauldron cauldron well anyway let's grab some uh some levers in the redstone department here levers uh, we need the cauldron still are you in the building blocks no, you're probably in the miscellaneous tab aren't you yeah cauldrons uh, grab some furnace we then want to grab a bucket of water like that let's grab an item frame so do that and then go ahead and grab yourself some gray stain carpet so now let's see it's gonna be two away from this part so one two so on the third block we're going to place that and then one on either side and this is going to be one one two well it's gonna be whatever one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten blocks we can do that okay so let's go take our cobblestone I'm coming all the way back over here come out two blocks so boom boom so right here bang 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 and then that's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of course bring it back over like that bring this all the way out like that now let's see how tall we make it I believe it's only two blocks tall sorry I fly back and forth so much I should have built this and then just kind of copied it over two blocks tall and then what we are going to do with the slabs is really really simple so I'm getting a party invite hello Jordan I just built with you earlier so go ahead boom 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 bring this out like that add one here 
here. Take your slabs, connect it right across the top, like that. So now, we get to work out the placement of the furnaces, which would be the grill, and the cauldrons, which I guess would just be like little sinks out there, which is pretty cool. Come on, block over. You're going to have a two by two. We also need, let's get rid of that. We need some weighted pressure plates. So grab silver or gold, whatever you prefer. I think the silver weighted pressure plates looks better. This is really simple. Okay. I got it. So what we are going to do is grab our furnace. I overshot that area. Skip one, break out this. Skip two, then do do like that. So it's gonna be cauldrons right here, levers, which you want to actually place from this side. Why you no work? Whatever. That's fine. Go ahead and place those with water. Go ahead and take the furnaces. Do that. Weighted pressure plates. How do we get the weighted... Ah, okay. Just kind of got to aim on them. So go ahead and put the weighted pressure plates. You then want to put a sign... How in the world are we going to get signs on here? I have no idea how to place signs on furnaces. Well, that sucks. Oh well, just leave that. I don't know how to place signs. I actually kind of want to figure it out. How in the world do we place signs on top of furnaces? Oh well, like I said, I can't figure it out. But there's your little barbecue area. That's it for this episode, and the next one we are going to go and do the basketball court. So anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand new, and I'll see you later in another video. Bye-bye!